Hello everyone. So I have been using a uh, LaTeX for a couple of weeks now, and uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I quite uh, like it. It is wonderful, by the way. Now today I thought I'll probably share a few very simple things that I believe are really useful and uh, can be extremely. Uh, uh, it can it can make you extremely uh, efficient when it comes to document. Uh, production or publishing whatever you want to do with uh, LaTeX and when I say efficient I'm basically trying to share few simple things that uh, will give you some control and uh, when you have that control over your uh, document production then uh, you can do basically a lot of things with your uh, with your LaTeX export and uh, if you look at this particular document I have of course nothing but you know title and uh, subtitle on top along with date author and uh, there is something called as exclude tax so the point here is that most of your uh, export based configurations i mean when you are dealing with org mode you may be used to exporting it to html because i do export my org files to my website ravi.pro where i use these options so these options will still work most of the times, but, but of course, you know, there are some differences here and there. So I, I thought I'll probably, you know, share a few things. For example, if you specify in your document, <clears throat> and by the way, if you have a, if you have some code in your document, like if you're using org pebble, which I use, uh, you have to always, uh, I mean, whenever you publish your document, you have to execute, uh, I mean, whenever you do, whenever you do an export, your org mode will try to execute those code blocks and you have to specify yes 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 so basically you have to give input it will it will wait for your confirmation but if you want you can actually define this uh, variable on top called or or confirm babel evaluate nil so using this option on top you can actually uh, just export and uh, all those code blocks will be executed so this is something i believe can be useful because in my document I do have uh, some plant UML based uh, diagrams. So I was a bit annoyed with, you know, this thing. I mean, I, I was using it as I, I mean, I do use it, but uh, I, I mean, I have been using it, uh, you know, this variable uh, for uh, basically exporting my HTML files, but uh, uh, it will still work if you're doing something with LaTeX. So basically, whenever you do an export, your LaTeX export or your configurations of your uh, normal org mode export will still be valid. Uh, but again, not always. And uh, if you look at this particular document on the right hand side, this is of course nothing but a PDF. But if you notice, I don't really have my uh, timestamp or my date because I don't really want it in my document. But sometimes you do want it. For example, if I am sending a document to my clients, I usually have like a document version, which is on the second page of my of my PDF, where I want like a current date. So you can also insert dates like dynamic dates on the date when you exported or you performed the export. But I don't really want uh, my timestamp and date in this particular document. But at the same time, you may want uh, and by the way, if you want a table of content with first level or second level or third level i mean you can specify it specify it here for example le okay let us just remove it completely and uh, let us do it do an export hello and it will you know as you can see this is basically executing those two uh plant uml based blocks and because it is going to to, to override the existing pdf it is asking me for this confirmation so let me just you know you refresh this on the right hand side so you can see here that i do have my uh, table of content but it is right now empty and uh, it, it 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 is a it's a weird thing with the uh, latex because if you have a num nil uh, basically if i show you the same uh, document in html let me do html export control c control e and uh, i need to do h and h Okay, so this will basically create the HTML file with um, with with table of contents, but uh, 
The thing is that if you're using numnil, it will basically not use uh, those numbers. Otherwise, it will prefix it with numbers. So this is basically uh, the the purpose of uh, numnil and uh, toc. But the problem with LaTeX is that if you need to have uh, your uh, table of content, you if you want your table of content, you have to basically get rid of your numnil. But there is there is another uh, another way. You can actually specify your table of content uh, separately. Uh, which I will definitely cover. So let us do this export again and then do LO and it will of course ask me for this confirmation whether you want to overwrite your PDF file. I'm sure there is a way I need to explore but uh, I think so far I'm happy. So let us refresh this and now we can see this wonderful uh, PDF file with this uh, table of content. So one thing that I wanted to share today is uh, basically the thing is that if you're dealing with org mode, you may want your, uh, you, you may want to insert a break, like a page break. So what you can do is maybe I, maybe I want my overview to start from next page. Like I want to basically have this uh, starting from the new page because it looks neat. So what you can do is you can do something like this. You can insert and you can do it anywhere you want in your document. So when you insert this LaTeX uh, colon clear page, at at basically you know this is basically for org mode to ignore this particular part because this is only applicable for org uh, mode latex latex export so let us save it control c control e hello and uh, i will wait for it to ask me do you want to overwrite yes and uh, i will go back to my document refresh and now we have this title along with the table of content and then the next uh, line or the next subtree or basically the start of the document is from a new page. This is wonderful. Uh, one more thing. And by the way, you know, when you look at these links, I mean, these items or these table of content items are basically linked to the actual head header or the actual section in your PDF. Wonderful thing. So one more thing. Let us see if we can also move this table of content to the new page and for doing that there is something that you can do i believe uh, i was doing a google search so basically what we want what we want to do is we want a page break uh after first page i mean just search for it and there is a you know stack exchange article where it says uh, that you can basically include this code and uh, what will happen now is it will basically display table of content but uh, it, it might display it twice so uh, let, let us see Control c Control e and by the way it, if you look at this particular code it says clear page and then uh, table of content and then clear page again so basically we are asking latex export or latex basically this will uh i believe what will happen this will actually uh, print toc twice but we can hide it and we know how, how to hide it so let us do it and then refresh and so we have this table of content right then we have this blank page and then uh, and then i think uh, the document is starting so what we can do is we can hide this so we don't really want this particular part and uh, what i will do i will say here on top uh, um i guess num not null, num. I think we have to do toc nil. And uh, let us do this one more time. Hopefully it will work. And I, I basically want, the requirement is that we want table of content to start from a new page. Yes. And uh, let us go back. So this is looking fine. So we have the title and subtitle and author name. And then we have table of content. So this looks wonderful and great. And uh, I'm happy with this. You know because this looks like a proper you know i mean if you're publishing a book because now i am publishing a book and uh, i thought i'll probably share these things with all of you because you may want to also do these things wonderful things when you're dealing with org mode and especially latex and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye